Hello friends, this video on Kingdom Animalia part 26 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So, but now we see that again we have, since we have so many different varieties of fishes, it became important to subclassify the Pisces. So, this subclassification was based upon the endoskeleton composition. So, the composition of the skeleton was different in different types of fishes. So, based on that, they were divided into two classes, chondrichthyes and ostichthyes. So, these were the two classes, chondrichthyes, ostichthyes. Chondrichthyes, they are, there the endoskeleton is made up of cartilage. So, that is why they are known as cartilaginous fishes. Here, the skeleton is made up of bones. So, these are the bony fishes. So, now we will discuss chondrichthyes and ostichthyes in little more detail. So, let us start our discussion with chondrichthyes. These are the cartilaginous fishes which have the cartilage. Internal skeleton is made up of cartilage. Powerful jaws are present because obviously they are all with jaws. So powerful jaws are present. They are mostly marine fishes. You see them in the seas. Streamlined body which helps them in movement within water. They are mostly carnivorous or scavengers. That is they feed on other fishes or aquatic life. Cold-blooded, they do not have any mechanism to regulate their body temperature. Notochord is present throughout their life. Tail helps in locomotion, as I said. Streamlined body and tail. These two things together help in locomotion. Fins are present. As you can see in the picture, they have the fins. Skin covered with pointed denticles. So, on the surface of the skins, you see pointed structures which are known as denticles. Now, since they are scavengers, that is since they catch prey and feed on them. So, how do they catch prey? In order to catch prey, some of them have electric ray which actually help to paralyze the spray. For example, torpedo is an example which has an electric ray. Similarly, there are some uh, fishes which have a poison sting, so which will have some poisonous fluid in it and it will inject it into the prey and will injure the prey. One example of such is trigon. So, trigon is a chondrichthyes which has poison sting and torpedo is an example of chondrichthyes which has electric ray to, and these things help them to catch prey. Some examples of chondrichthyes are dogfish, sawfish, sharks and stingrays. So these are some examples of chondrichthyes. If you talk about the size of chondrichthyes, it, it, it really can vary. But it can be very small and it can also be very large. For example, here you can see the picture of the stingray. It looks huge, right? So it can go up till 45 centimeter across, which is not a small size. If you talk about the stingray, it is generally seen in sandy or muddy, muddy habitats. They also have a whip-like tail and it, the spe its speciality is its diamond-shaped pectoral fin. So if you see the pector pectoral fin, it has a shape of a diamond. But if you look at the dogfish and the shark, they look quite similar to each other. So these are some examples of the cartilaginous fishes. So let us talk about the organ systems of cartilaginous fish. So let us start with the digestive system. So the digestive tract is complete here. That is we have two openings with a hollow gut. It consists of the various structures like mouth, modified teeth. Uh, mod the modified teeth, what do I mean by modified teeth? Teeth are modified depending upon the purpose for which it is used. For example, some fishes want the, the, their teeth for chewing purposes. Some of them want it for swallowing purpose. So depending upon their food habits, they have te their teeth modified accordingly. Esophagus, that is a food pipe, stomach, intestine, and even liver pancreas are also present in this digestive tract. Talking about the respiratory system, they have five to six pairs of gill slits present. Circulatory system closed type, two chambered heart, that is one vent auricle, one ventricle. Blood travels from auricle to ventricle to gills to rest of the body and then back to heart. With the single circulation which we discussed some time back. 
Then comes the excretory system. For that, they have a pair of kidneys, nervous system. They have hollow dorsal nerve cord present with brain towards the anterior end. So cephalization is seen even here. Rapid transmission of nerve impulses. So that is how the nervous system works by conduction of nerve impulses. Reproduction, sexual reproduction, sexes are separate and distinct. Internal fertilization, that is the fusion of the male and female gametes take place inside the body of the fish. They can be viviparous, oviparous or oviviviparous. That is, there are some chondroptites which give birth to young ones. Some of them lay eggs and there are some categories which can do both. That means they can give birth to young ones as well as they can give or they can lay eggs as well. So this is all about their reproduction. So let us now look at the next class that is Oostic thighs. That is the bony fishes. So here the internal skeleton is made up of bones. So they also have powerful and movable jaws. They can be marine or freshwater. Like in chondric thighs they were all marine but these fishes can also be freshwater. They also have a streamlined body. They are also scavengers or carnivores. So basically if you compare chondric thighs and ostic thighs, most of the things are similar except for the composition of the internal skeleton. They are also cold blooded that is they cannot regulate their body temperature. Notochord is present throughout life. Swim bladder is present which helps to retain buoyancy. So this is one extra feature which is seen in ostic thighs. Now since this ostic thighs are made up of bones, so because of that there are chances that they are not able to maintain their balance in water. So that is why they have this additional swim bladder which helps to maintain buoyancy. What is buoyancy? The force which is the upward thrust or the upward force which is exerted by the water on the fish. So because of that it might not be able to swim in properly. So due to the presence of the swim bladder or which is also sometimes known as air bladder, it helps to maintain its buoyancy. Fins are present as you can see here. Skin is covered with cycloid or tenoid scales. So in chondric thighs it was not the cyclet so the skin covering was different there and here so here they have scales which are cycloid or tenoid scales let us look at some examples of ostic thighs now we, you will see most of the common fishes which are even edible in many parts of um, india like rohu katla seahorse which resemble the appearance of a horse flying fish with feathers which make them fly magur and angelfish. These are some of the examples of the bony fishes. So let us now look at their organ system. So let us look at the organ systems of ostic types. So the first we will talk about. So they have a complete digestive tract with two openings, one for ingestion and one for digestion. So the digestive tract has mouth modified teeth. So the teeth gets modified as per the needs or as per the feed food habits of the fish. Esophagus, stomach, intestine, liver and pancreas. Respiratory system, they have four pairs of gills which are covered by an operculum on each side. So here the gills also have a covering. So here you can see that. So here you have the gills and this is the covering called operculum. So this is something which was not present in the chondric thighs. Circulatory system is again closed type. Here we have the blood vessels, two chambered heart, one auricle, one ventricle. The single circulation takes place in the same way as we discussed before. That is the blood travels through auricle, then ventricle, then to gills, to rest of the body and then again back to heart. Looking at the excretory system, they have a pair of kidneys, nervous system, hollow dorsal nerve cord is present and brain is also present and the brain has a small olfactory lobes which is used for the sensation of smelling and cerebrum and large optic lobes. Optic lobes that is for the sensation of sight. So optic lobes, cerebrum and olfactory lobes were the major portions of the brain.
reproduction again here also sexual reproduction sexes were separate external fertilization that is the gametes fuse together outside the body of the fish oviparous that is they lay eggs they do not directly give birth to their young ones thank you please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos attempt free online test get free study material Find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.